Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to generate CAPTCHA using Java code, a first download sample project from our Git repository. We will download Spring Boot sample, let's download. Unzip this project. Import this as a Maven project in Spring Source. Click on Finish. Imported successfully. Let's run this project. Server started. Let's open this. See it's working. It's just a sample application I already explained about this in the last video. Like the last video here also before save we will validate CAPTCHA as well. But this time CAPTCHA will produce from Java code. Let's see how to do that. So mainly CAPTCHA generation handled by servlet class. So create a new package for servlet. Create a new class called CAPTCHA servlet. Let's convert this class to the servlet. So extend HTTP servlet class. Add web servlet annotation with request mapping. So make it simple let's keep it CAPTCHA servlet only you can keep anything. Add serial version ID. Override do post and do get method. Now this class converted to servlet. From do get out a call for do post. Let's add some basic setting for a response like a cache control, expires. Progma, max age. Now let's add code for generate CAPTCHA. We'll generate a random string which is the combination of digit, small and capital characters. Now we are passing 10, means we'll generate a string with 10 characters. Let's create this method. Declare a string from A to Z and 1 to 0 so from this string it will randomly pick 10 characters. Create string buffer object so it must be thread safe. Create an object for the random class. Add a loop with a condition like until CAPTCHA buffer length less than required CAPTCHA length execute this loop. So every iteration will append one character in CAPTCHA buffer. I hope you got the idea. Generate one random index and based on this index position will create substring and append that in CAPTCHA buffer. So that's it for this method. So now we have one random string with 10 character. Now need to some GUI code to render this like some font, background, foreground. Let's see how to do that. Declare two variable one for width and one for height. Create a buffered image object and add width and height.
Now create graphics. In graphics object set font name, style, and size. Now set the background color. We are setting gray color. Now fill the rectangle with declared color. Now again set the color so this color is nothing but the font color. We are setting white color. Now call draw string so pass captcha and padding size. That's it for a graphics object. Now get the session from the request and set generated CAPTCHA string and CAPTCHA attribute. Now get output stream from the response. Now write an image I.O. Set file type as JPEG. That's it for this class. See it's very simple. Now to access this servlet directly, need to add one annotation to the application class. So the annotation is servlet component scan. Now let's access this servlet in add JSP page. Add some basic code to display the CAPTCHA. As we add servlet response in image IO and it will return an image. Now to compare, like CAPTCHA string and your string is correct or nothing. So add one variable in employee class called CAPTCHA. Add getter and setter for this. Add other basic changes. Let's check the first CAPTCHA is coming or not. Let's run the project. See it's coming, but the string is not correct, because we did one mistake. Let's fix that. Here one bracket in the wrong place. That's it. Now check again. See now coming correctly, and every time changing. Now let's see how to validate your string with CAPTCHA. Open employee controller. Before save we want to validate, add HTTP servlet request also in the method parameter. Now if you remember we set CAPTCHA string in a session, now just need to compare both, let's add remaining changes. So if equals then continue to save otherwise return to the same page.
Let's check. It's returning to the same page, let's enter all the details along with CAPTCHA. See it's working fine, as you see CAPTCHA length is 10 now let's change it to 5. See now small CAPTCHA is coming. Let's use same code which we added in the last video so if you enter the wrong CAPTCHA it should show some message. That's it. Let's check messages coming or not. See the messages coming. See it's working fine. I hope now you will never forget how CAPTCHA works. Let's review whatever we added. I committed the code as well, you can find under Spring Boot Capture Repository. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.